Behold! I have traversed the incalculable cosmos to commemorate, confabulate, and otherwise bestow my magnificence upon your myopic mortal eyes. Alas! A variety of veritables prevent my venerated visage from appearing in the fire persona. However, through magics both marvelous and manageable, I grant my glorious guise through... Oh, 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 all right. Pardon, uh, <coughs> pardon this peregrination. I seem to be a... Pay no attention to the man in the blue screen. Um, um, oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you got me. Um, give me one second here. Ah, much better. Uh, hello, all you beautiful people. Apologies for the ostentatious opening. I know the last thing that Micah and Scoot would want on their special day would be anything unnecessarily theatrical. Uh, to those of you I haven't met yet, hello. Uh, my name is Scott Lilly, uh, phoning in from the ruby red apple of NYC. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it there in person. However, I have the absolute honor to count both the bride and groom amongst my extended entertainment family and have the distinct privilege of being Micah's man of honor. I met both Micah and Scoot two years ago when I flew into Northport to direct a reimagined production of The Wizard of Oz. Um, they both auditioned separately, and I can tell you, posthumous of the production, that I cast them both based off of the energies they brought with them. Uh, they carried this um, exuberance and enthusiasm into the rehearsal room and apparently into each other's lives. Um, over the season, I got to watch these two lovebirds as they got closer and closer together. I'm gonna go off on a tangent before you get too confused. The reason I call Scott Scoot is twofold. Uh, number one, it's very confusing seeing your own name all over your blocking notes. Uh, and number two, when I sent out the initial casting emails, I had a typo on his address, and it took him the lo it took me the longest time to get a hold of him to tell him that he had been cast. Uh, thusly, along with my apologies, on the first day of rehearsal, I dubbed him Scoot. Much to his continuing chagrin, I am sure. Micah and I hit it off right away. And she went above and beyond to make me feel welcomed and treasured in this land far from home. <laughs> she became a real friend and confidant over the summer. And she treated me to probably the best Beach Boys related adventure I have ever had. By the end of the summer, our Dorothy had found her way home. I had found my artistic vision made manifest, and Micah and Scoot had found a love in each other that has carried over into the lives of their children and families, and, and into the hearts of all of us who are here to help celebrate that union. In these crazy times, it can feel like there's no solid model for anything. No script to follow, no steps prepared, but uh, in the world of improvisational comedy, we have a little rule of thumb called Yes And. Uh, it suggests that in a situation, a uh, participant should accept what another participant has stated, that's the yes, uh, and then expand on that line of thinking, that's the and. Uh, a marriage, which is a singular situation in and of itself, uh, requires that same level of trust and commitment. Yes, today symbolizes your acceptance of each other. And in that acceptance, you expand all the phenomenal capabilities and attributes that make your love unique. In short, you make each other better. <laughs> keep building, keep listening, and keep loving. Now, I would like to raise a glass for Abel, 
and toast to these two incredible people and the next act of their lives. To Micah and Scoot.